uh, like the most recognized Norwegian language. It's more southern parts, they speak more like according to how we write. I speak yes. with a much heavier dialect, I guess. Sheep, please. Oh, this game isn't lagging. It feels so nice. Okay, it's looking like we're not having the best map again. Gold in the front. Wood is okay, but it's hillish. It's not ideal. So they have Teutons and Chinese. Pretty good sieves. For them as well. Is he playing 2v1? Yes, I am. Since they like almost begged me to play, I'm guessing they actually have something planned, kind of. Actually, we can make this map decent. We there's our buildings here, wall the left side. We're gonna have to wall then. That's okay. I like to take these two two v ones kind of serious just to see where where the limit is at, kind of. We're gonna try and rush. Actually, if I had this wall here and wall here, then the left side should be completely safe. It's a really small wall. So we're gonna try that, and we'll do a Drush Fast Castle. Defensive Drush, I reckon. Okay, there are berries there. Like, this is a two-player map, right? Yeah, so... oh. So we have... Oh! oh I'm gonna give him the sheep. So we have Chinese there. I guess we have Teutons over here then. Sixteen hundred on Rubli. Yeah, they were both around close to sixteen hundred. Uh, I want to take those deer as well since there's so many, but <laughs> but uh, it's really dangerous because the red player is so close. So we won't be able to do that. Students here. I don't know where they are at least, so we'll see. Will I be playing in any tournaments in the near future? Well, it depends what you mean, tournaments. Show matches. Yes, we played a 2v2 show match yesterday and might be one coming with Ryut instead of Dogao. Um, might play a show match at Tristan's channel as well. T9 official. Not sure. But I don't know if like other tournaments of any announced tournaments yet, right? So it's kinda hard to say. Happened to get in contact with Riot? No, not yet. I didn't. I didn't ask him yet either, though. So I mean, it's uh, my my mistake on my end. I'm gonna send that rush forward. 
because the Chinese player is so close. Might be able to disturb him some. Oh, he walled. Okay, I guess we're sending it back. Should have had access to deer to make it a little smooth. Just have to farm up extra. Not sure if any of them are penalty will feudal. Doesn't seem that way yet. Uh, they should be up by then by now then. Okay, never mind. He's Teuton, so yesterday he did like full YOLO. My mouse is jumping out. Full YOLO. A sec, gotta fix this. Full YOLO tower rush on me, just to disturb me. Hello. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's see. Oh, look at this. There should be another tower here, I guess. Or behind somewhere. Yeah, that's what I thought. This will be tricky now. Yeah, this is hard. I don't know. It messes up my like up time so much. So I guess our castleage time will be delayed. Have to make a tower ourselves. He comes around here. Now the problem is if red just goes for a uh, fast castle. Just knights or something. He's going archers actually. That changes things. Now this will be hard. Is he a fletching? No, he doesn't. Should have gone for this wood to start off. I think my TC can hit that. Yeah, it can. This 
will be tough now, but let's see how it goes. Too many wheels on uh, stone, uh, wood overall now. Pushing around on this side, really wants to power up. Let's not make it there, we'll make. This farm will now be idle as well. Guess we'll have to sacrifice, get some idle time. Oh no. I have to like win convincingly with my army against reds. He's towering as well. It's okay. At least I like the action we're getting from this. Might have to just uh, send wheels to take down the tower. That tower will be so annoying in the long run. We'll try to sneak off this army over to blue space. If doesn't have towers up there as well, then. Ooh. This, this is keeping his villagers from not progressing, which I guess is kind of okay. But at the same time, it's not ideal for me to be keeping so many villagers idle. Catch red, uh, blue, I mean, off guard. If he doesn't have tower here, then that should be really good. Okay, that should be really good. Just want that tower gone. That's a miscue. Double stable. Is he up? Yes, he could be. Should be able to deal with that as long as we keep the hill. Yeah, he's up. So 
we stay here, at least we'll keep him. Oh, he's students. Students. Oh, he's up as well. That makes things harder. Stable as well for bloodlines. I need I need a uh, ballistics quickly and also a uh, thumb ring preferably on the towers, that's not good for me. It's a lot of knights who make it hard. I need to take gold since I'm not fully walled. Which means I don't have upgrades for... for ballistics. It's not looking too good. He has plus two as well. Makes those knights super hard to deal with. Looking like GG, boys. Yeah, GG. Well done. Well done. Yeah, if just that, if I managed to get both those mangonels in the initial fight before his villagers came, then that would have been nice. Also, if uh, maybe if I wall off more here, could be better. Or if I just commit to this stone uh, gold earlier, maybe put more towers up in my own base. Hmm, yeah. I guess you just need to be like more uh, committed to... Uh, and not be greedy, I mean. So you should put towers up, multiple towers here. On your golds and stuff. GG, that was fun though. Adrian donated one dollar to say GG. Thanks man. GG. Go for stone walls next time. If I go for stone walls, I can't afford towers or TCs. So that could potentially even put me further behind. So you need to find like the correct balance between economy and army. So at this point, if I just don't lose too much before I hit castle age. And I think I'm in a good spot, because we're almost at the similar population, myself combined with both of them. But those knights uh, idled my gold, 
and the mangonels coming in there would be uh, kept my uh, the rest of my eco busy. I think that was much closer than it might have seemed like in the end. That was fun though. Let's see. 